All right, children, settle down. Now, before art class begins, I want to apologize for all of my tears yesterday. Yes. My mother let it slip that she didn't find me attractive. And then I told her that... What the? Hey! All right, who just tried to hit me with a sizable scoop of chubby monkey hubby ice cream? Was it you, Liam? No, Mr. Dillon, it wasn't me. I was busy trying to forget last night when Grandma tucked me in and her dentures fell out and her wig fell off and everything went crazy in my face. Oh, gosh! Was it you, Sam? Um, let me see. No, I don't think so. Paula, did you alley-oop the scoop? Mr. Dillon, no. But do I know who did? Of course. Hello, it was Gilly. 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 What? Gilly, did you launch a generous scoop of premium ice cream at me? Sorry. Her name is Gilly and she's at it again. Causing lots of ruckus like a partner again. She's always bringing trouble. Her hair is like a bubble. Knock, knock, who's there is Gilly? Let's do it. Now, just before class, I was told our foreign exchange student has arrived all the way from Italy. Now, remember, her English may not be... Oh! Uh-oh. Buongiorno. Well, welcome, uh, Gili, is it? Now, yeah. why don't you go and stand by Paula and watch as the other kids show their art projects? Hey, she pushed me! Skizzy. <laughs> All right, Liam, why don't we start with you? I believe you were going to make a sock puppet? No, oh, I think I got confused. I made socks for a puppet. Oh, gosh! Oh, hey, someone help! All right, who punched Paula's face through her weird giraffe painting? Was it you, Liam? No, I was just looking at my lunch bag and realized that Grandma must have packed it for me. Oh, gosh! Sam? Uh, well, yesterday a fly walked around on my face for like 30 minutes, and I couldn't do anything about it, so... No, I did not. Well, I don't know who could have done this. Mr. Dillon, OMG, it was Gilly and Geely! <laughs> Gilly, did you do this to Paula? Sorry. Gilly? Mi dispace. She said sorry. Girls, we'll discuss this later. Now, Sam, let's move on to you. Well, as you know, my options are limited because my arms are broken. So I just ate bits off of this wheel of cheddar cheese until it looked like a clipper ship. It's just okay. Hey, what's that whimpering sound? Liam, you've been socked. Okay, who stretched out Liam's tiny puppet sock over his face? Was it you, Liam? Sam? Oh, I would like to harm everyone in this room. But here's the situation. My brother had to zip my pants this morning. Paula, was it you? Gilly? What? Gilly, is that wine? See. Si. Put that away. It's not lunch yet. All right. Now, did you girls puppet sock Liam's face? Gilly? What? Gilly? Que casa? Gilly? That's me. Gilly? See. Si. Gilly? What's up? 
Gilles. Spaghetti. All right, that is it. I've had it up to here with you two. I'm gonna write you up and... Hey! Stop that. Now put out those cigarettes immediately. Gilly? You got it. You too, Gilly. Prega. Now, if there are no more interruptions... Gilly, did you explode Gilly by tricking her into putting her cigarette out in a can of flammable paint thinner? Sorry. Gilly! Knock, knock, who's there is Gilly? Arrivederci. All right, children, I would uh, first like to congratulate our four science fair finalists. You've all done an impressive job. Uh, as you know, the first prize was originally Jonas Brothers tickets for you and two of your friends. But uh, due to budget cuts, the prize is now a healthy lunch uh, prepared by my sister at our condo and a private lecture on wood beetles. Uh, which I think is going to be a really fantastic opportunity. What the? Hey, all right. Who just tried to hit me with a drinkable yogurt? Huh? Was it you, Liam? No, it wasn't me, Mr. Dillon. I was concentrating on holding in a nervous toot before the final judging. <laughs> oh, great, there it goes. Was it you, Sam? Um, you have to use your arms to throw things, right? So, no. Hunbjort, our German exchange student, was it you? <laughs> Mr. Dillon, I'm not afraid to tattle on the perpetrator. It was Gilly. Gilly? Gilly? What? Gilly? Did you launch a drinkable yogurt at me? Sorry. Her name is Gilly and she's at it again. Causing lots of ruckus like a barnyard kid. She's always bringing trouble. Her hair looks like a bubble. Knock, knock, who's there is Gilly? Sorry. Okay, uh... Let's begin. We'll start with you, Liam. Okay. For my science project, I built an automatic litter box powered by a potato battery. And all you have to do is attach these wires. Hilfe! Hilfe! Why, Hilfe is German for help. Oh my gosh, Hornbjord! Someone has forcibly inserted silverware into my hairless chest. <laughs> Who did this? Was it you, Liam? No, Mr. Dillon. I was just realizing that if I win this science fair, it's going to be open face, insert bully's fist. Oh, no. <laughs> Sam, did you do this? Can you see me? <laughs> I know who impales me. The culprit is Gilly. Gilly, did you stab Hunbjord with a fork, knife, and spork? Sorry. In my village, we have a bird for children like her. It's pain in the boots. Gilly, we'll talk later, little missy. Okay, and Hunbjord, please remove those utensils. You're making us all hungry. Yes, Mr. Dillon. Okay, let's move on to Sam. Okay, my project is entitled, I don't think it's fair on a field trip for teachers to force you to ride a horse that has crazy eyes and a bad attitude. It's a, a very creative and personal project, Sam. You should give yourself a hand. I'll be sure to do that in about six to eight weeks. Is something burning? Oh. All right, all right. Who tried to electrocute Liam with his own potato battery? Was it you, Liam? No, it was me, Was it you, Sam? Can I curse real quick and you guys just forget it ever happened? Hunbjord, did you litter box, Liam? <laughs> Mother, I want a one-way ticket home to Frankfurt. I have looked in the eye of the devil, and her name is Gilly. Gilly? Gilly? 
What? Gilly. Uh-huh. Gilly. Yes. Gilly. Uh-huh. Gilly. What's up? Gilly. Yes. Did you do this to Liam? Sorry. Okay, you come over right now and apologize for your behavior. Mr. Dylan, this is an outrage! Gilly! Sorry. You're officially disqualified. Now stand over here with me for the remainder of the science fair. Boonbjord, it's your turn. Yes. In my project, I wanted to resolve whether a frog prefers salt to sugar. But where is the frog? Where's Baldo? Sorry. Uh, Gilly. Knock, knock, who's there is Gilly? Gilly. <laughs> what? Sorry. Okay, okay, class. Everybody settle down your mouth. No more jiggling. This is sex ed class. Now, I'm going to draw a very realistic sketch of my vajaja. Okay. Who threw that tiny little cherry pie for one? Was it you, Liam? No, Mrs. Roberts, it wasn't me. I'm still thinking about that woman in the birthing video you showed us and how she looked like a naked Dora the Explorer. No, I'm confused. Was it you, Sam? Are you for serious? <laughs> These are casts. I have to flush my toilet with my forehead. Paula, did you toss the treat? No, but I know who did, and she's ducking behind that female anatomy statue. It was Gilly! <laughs> Gilly? What? Gilly? Yeah, huh? Did you throw America's favorite dessert at my head? Sorry. <laughs> Her name is Gilly and she's at it again. Cause lots of luck is like a bummer. She's always trying to trouble. Her hair is like a bubble. Knock, knock, who's there is Gilly? It's on. <laughs> now, class, when you hit the puberty, your body is going to go crazy. There is going to be acne, hair, especially in your nono regions. <laughs> Don't be scared. Now. Help! Help! Mrs. Roberts, look! Paila, why are you covered in maxi pads? They're soft, but I don't like it. Liam, was it you? No, Mrs. Roberts. I was still picturing a woman in the film. Just thinking about her makes me have to put heavy books in my lap. Sam, was it you? Are you for serious? I'm a human goalpost. Roberts, it wasn't him, it was Gilly! <laughs> Gilly! Uh-huh. Gilly! Sup, G. Gilly! Spit it out. Did you sew Paula into a bunch of feminine napkins? You got it. Gilly, for years at this school, you've been causing lots of trouble like a Barnian hen. Sometimes I don't know whether to shake you to death or to hold you close to my bosom. <laughs> Frankly, I am worried about what life has in store for you. Have you thought about that, Gilly? Let's check it out. <laughs> I'm sorry to say it doesn't look good, Gilly. We did everything we could. Or felt like doing. Thanks, Doctor. Any last words? Come closer. Closer. Oh, wait, you got someone you're tired in there. <laughs> I 
was faking it. <laughs> now, do you see why it's important to be nice to people, Gilly? You died all alone in that flash forward. I ask you a question. Shove it, lady. Gilly? Stick it, lady. Gilly? Suck it, bitch. Gilly. I'm sorry. I don't know where that came from. I went too far on that one, you guys. I really went too far. Sorry. Who's there is Gilly? Again, I'm sorry. That was, that was too much. That was too much.